Good morning, friends. Welcome to our weekly devotion. So today I want to start by telling you a story. And the story goes like this. It's a story of a stone cutter. This guy was married, but he wasn't too happy with his wife. And he was looking around. And then this one day he saw this affluent merchant passing by. And he thought to himself, well, maybe if I become this merchant, very affluent, I will be happy. And as he was wishing in his heart, there was an angel and the angel granted him his wish. And immediately he turned into this merchant. And so he, he started living a new life, affluent life, very rich and exposure to more networks. And he met the king of the country. And in his dealings with the king, he found out that this king is very powerful. And he thought to himself, well, if I can be the king and all the power, I will probably be so happy. And immediately he turned into the king. And so he was governing the nation or the country. And then this one day he's walking outside his palace and the sun was shining on him. And he found out that even as king, he, had, he didn't have enough power to protect himself against the sun. The sun was really burning. And he wished, he said, I wish I had the power of a sun. And immediately he became the sun. And so in shining and doing his normal day, this one day, a cloud came by and the cloud actually stopped the rays of the sun reaching the earth. And, and this guy, being the sun, thought of himself, well, maybe I should be the cloud. It seems like the cloud has got more power. And immediately he turned into a cloud. And days after that, the wind came up and blew this cloud away. And he thought to himself, no, man, I should be the wind. If a wind can move a cloud, I should be a wind. And then a few days later, the wind blew and it was just stopped by this big thing. And a big thing was a mountain. And he thought to himself, well, if a mountain can stop the wind, I want to be a mountain. Early the next morning, he saw a small little man coming up to him as the mountain. And this guy was taking up his hammer and his chisel and he was chiseling away on the mountain, cutting the rock away. This guy was a stone cutter and he thought to himself, well, if a stone cutter can chisel away at my being, I don't want to be a mountain. I want to be a stone cutter. And immediately he was a stone cutter again. You see, the moral of the story is this guy had everything he needed from the beginning to be who he was supposed to be in God, in Jesus but his desires, his mindset, the lack of identity had him on a wild goose chase. Of a full circle just to be the stone cutter again. The answer in this whole story, the motto of the story is found in this one word, contentment. What will it take for me and you to be content? The writer of Ecclesiastes writes it this way. Ecclesiastes 6.9 says, You should much rather enjoy what you have than to desire what you don't have. You see, the tension between what you have today and that which you dream, that tension there, that is the battle for contentment. The question for us is, how can we live in a way that we are happy in today, that we are content in today, while we believe Jesus to move us forward and become everything we can be in Him for His kingdom's purposes in this life? I want to give you just three building blocks that will help you to develop contentment every day. The first one in contentment is be thankful every day. Thankful and praiseful every day. If you can wake up every day, say, what should it take for me to be thankful and grateful and praise God in this day? The best place to start is to start at the very basics of life. And yes, you can think of food and all that, but what about being able to breathe? being able to see, being able to go outside and put your foot in, in wet grass early in the morning and feel the grass, hear the birds, see a tree. Even if there's no leaves in the winter, feel the cold, the basics. Be thankful every day. If you can break it down to the basics, the rest will become easier. The second one, be intentional every day. It is good for us to be intentional in this, to wake up and say, how can I live in such a way that I will be intentfully content today in my life in meaning content intentionality means to be focused on this and then one last thing would be to challenge your perspective every day if you only live where you live you commune with who you commune you only have your friends and you never step outside comfort into a different area to challenge your perspective you will quickly grow discontent with what you have because you will always measure you with something um, in your circle someone 
But if you step out and you follow your feet into ministry, someone poor, feeding someone, or just in a different culture or a different faith, or just sitting with someone that lost someone to death, or speak to someone who went through a divorce, quickly you'll find that you are privileged enough to be thankful every day. So three things. We want to be content. We have to be content. It's a basic building block of the journey to the promise. How do we do this? Stay thankful. Be very intentional and challenge your perspective every day. Bless you. Till next time.